Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have this very anti-Valentine's Day smoky red fuchsia look. I just kind of want to do this video because I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers do Valentine's Day looks. But if you know me, I'm not really into like the whole love and romance thing. So I thought why not do something a little different and do like an anti-Valentine's Day look. So that's why it's like very smoky and dark and like kind of dangerous, you know? And this look was actually really easy. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought it would and I used mostly one palette. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'll just show you guys how I accomplished this look. Okay, so hi guys. Obviously I have this eye almost done. It's not completely done. I still have a few things to add, but I'm not gonna add it until this eye is at the same stage as this. Hopefully that makes sense. So the main palette that I use for this look is this one by Huda Beauty and this is their Ruby Obsessions. This is what it looks like inside. Honestly, at first I was kind of against these palettes because I think they're like, what, $35? And um, they're pretty small, as you can see. But eventually I just kind of caved in because I really like the color scheme of it. And I mean, they're good quality shadows with Huda Beauty. You know you're gonna get good quality, but still, at first I was like... So yeah, this is the whole star of this look. So what I already have on this eye is some eyeshadow primer and then I just set it with an off-white eyeshadow so nothing too special. So to start off this look I'm gonna go in the crease and I'm gonna take this color just at the bottom of the palette. Um, there's no names in this palette so hopefully you can figure it out if you are following along. So yeah just this one right here and I'm gonna take it on a kind of fluffy crease brush. Okay so uh, while we're here blending our lives away I want to ask you guys do you like Valentine's Day or are you like me and like you don't really care? If you wanna go do all that romantic stuff go ahead. But uh, some of us, some of us are single, okay? And some of us have no, like, emotional ties to Valentine's Day. For me, the real holiday is on February 15th. You know, when all the chocolate goes on sale and then if they have any of those big teddy bears left, those also go on sale. Are you guys like me where you don't really care? Or are you like, no, this is the best holiday? Also, another good thing about these palettes is that because they are so small, they're really good for traveling. And I know they have, I forget what it's called, but it's like a bronzy one. And it has a lot of oranges and browns. So it kind of reminds me of the Morphe 350, but if it was like condensed with like nine shades, it's kind of the same thing. So yeah, if you're looking for a palette to travel with, you could probably check out that one. I don't know what it's called, but I'll have it in writing here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do next is go really high in the crease, kind of right under my eyebrows. And I'm gonna take this color right here. It's kind of like an orangey peach. And I'm gonna take kind of a smaller brush than I did before, just to really focus it. And you don't have to do this, but I kind of like how it makes a little gradient. And some of you might be like, girl, I don't even see it. But that's okay. Because you don't wanna see like the harsh lines, right? You kind of want it all to blend together to the point where you barely notice it, but you also notice it, you know? <laughs> oh, I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm so jealous of people like um, Jackie Ina and like Nikki Tutorials who have so much lid space. Like, I have nothing, okay? I have maybe half the lid space that they have. I don't know, whenever I see them do tutorials, I always wonder like, if I was gonna try it, how would it look? Or like, how would I even, how would I even accomplish it when I have like, no space? That's why you practice and then eventually you learn what works for your eye shape, but I haven't got there yet, okay? I'm working on it. Okay, so the one kind of complaint that I have with this palette is that, I don't know if you can tell, but there aren't any like true reds, like a fire truck red, which is kind of what I really thought I was gonna get with this palette, cause like, it's called the Ruby Obsessions, right? So like, where's the Ruby? <laughs> but the closest thing would be this one right here. And even though it is, kind of like an orangey red. It's not a matte, it's more of a like pearl color. So here, let me just swatch it for you. Okay, so I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's more of a pearl kind of shimmer. And it's not, it's not what I thought it was gonna be, okay? So it doesn't really work well in the crease, but right now I'm gonna layer it on top of what I already have. Next, to kind of finish off the gradient that we have going, I'm gonna take this dark kind of plum color that's right here. 
And I'm gonna apply it very low in the crease and then also on the outer corner to kind of like, I don't know, like wing it out, I guess. I'm gonna take the same kind of smaller brush that I used before just to get right in the bottom of the crease. And to go on the outer corner, I'm going to take the bigger brush that I used earlier and I'm going to kind of angle it this way as opposed to going straight on like this. I kind of want to follow like the curvature, is that the word? The curvature of my actual eye and kind of angle it this way to really get it right in the outer corner. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is cut my crease and to do that, I'm going to be using the... Ooh, Okay, mine's a little dirty, but I'm going to be using the new Fenty Concealers, and uh, this one is in the shade 330. I want to know, are you guys like me? Because when I cut my crease, sometimes I honestly like forget to breathe. I'm like, okay, focus. And then I find myself like gasping for breath eventually. So now what I'm going to do is because the glitter that I used for my lid, it's more of a top coat than like a metallic eyeshadow itself. So before I use it, I'm going to apply a black base. And I'm going to be using, this is from one of the Tarte palettes. And I'm going to take the black that is right here. I know this palette has been through a lot, okay. But haven't we all, honestly? <laughs> to get that black, I'm going to go in with this kind of domed paddle brush. And just pat it over the concealer that I just applied. Because that black was just a base, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, obviously you can see mine isn't, but that's okay. For the kind of metallic top coat, I'm going to be using this color from the Huda palette. Uh, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's black and it has kind of purpley, reddish, magenta specks of glitter in it. Um, I'm going to take it on my finger and just pat it on. And with the shade, I kind of like to alternate between my finger and a brush. And I don't know if you guys can hear, there's like some commotion going on downstairs, okay? Um, we recently have a baby in the house who's staying with us for a few months. And um, okay, first of all, she cries, or at least she used to cry whenever she sees my face. And I mean, like same but like literally I would come downstairs she would take one look at me and start bawling and I'm like damn I always knew I was ugly but this is a new low for me in my life no I'm playing she's really cute though but yeah so if you hear like baby shark or other like nursery rhymes in the background okay that's why this is what we are looking like right now and so what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna add some winged eyeliner because I feel like winged eyeliner is like very flirty and very I don't know romantic so I'm gonna add some of that um, some concealer so when I come back we're gonna do highlighter and bronzer and just finish the rest of the face <laughs> so I'll be right back okay so I'm back I finished pretty much half of my face so what I'm gonna do next is go in on my lower lash line and what I'm gonna take from kind of the middle to the inner corner of my lower lash line if that makes sense, you'll see, is um, the same color that I initially applied in the crease, which is this one. I'm going in with the same brush that I always use. Um, it's by NYX. It's their number 15 brush. I already know my mom would not like this look. One time, um, I was wearing a few colors from this palette, mostly this one right here and this one. Actually, it's the same look that I did in the Fenty Concealers video. I'll link that in the description. Yeah, one day I was wearing that look and like she hated it. <laughs> and I asked her why. I was like, what's wrong with it? Like all of my friends said they liked it. She's like, it's too pink. It's too hot pink. And I was like, okay, mom, thank you for your input. But respectfully, I'm gonna keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, I know if she could see me right now, she would be like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, and just on the outer portion of my lower lash line, I'm going to take the plum that we also used before and really kind of kind of bring it out so that it meets the end of the wing or the start of the wing, depending how you look at it. So now for inner corner highlight, I kind of wanted to do something 
that I've never done. Um, and you're probably like, it's not a big deal, like, it's makeup. But for me, this is like a milestone, you know? I kind of want to take a color that's not rose gold or gold in my inner corner. I know. I'm shocked too. I'm debating between this shade and the one right beside it. I think I'm going to take this one just in my inner corner just because it's more pink than a rose gold would be and this whole look is like magenta, red, purple, black, those colors. <laughs> so I just think it would be a little different than a typical highlight would be. You know, spice up your life a little bit. And because it's an eyeshadow, it's a little more chunky than the highlight that I would normally put in my inner corner, but I actually like it. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of giving me like editorial vibes, you know? To bronze my face, I'm going to be using uh, this one by Colourpop in Rodeo Drive. It's nothing, nothing new. You guys have seen me use this about five times already. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but is that like ASMR? Like, <laughs> probably not. You're probably just like, what are you doing, girl? And lastly, just to highlight my cheekbones and the center of my nose, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Me Money and Hustle Baby. So for my nose, I'm gonna take it on my finger and I'm gonna take the more matte one. Again, I'm not sure which color it is, if it's Hustle Baby or Me Money, but it's the matte one. It's clear to see the time hasn't changed our thing. It's very deep and zombie, but I feel there's something you should know. And for my cheeks, I'm gonna go in with a brush and go in with the more metallic glittery one. I didn't want to go in with like a cream highlighter or anything too crazy because I feel like the eyes are really the focus of this look, so I don't want to take the attention away. You guys know those memes of um it's like DW and she's like in front of a door and um the caption is like dear god if he's not right for me send me a sign and then <laughs> there's like a sign and then she's like the sign can't stop me because I can't read my cheeks okay when you wear this highlighter your cheeks are the sign okay they're just they're flashing and they're telling you girl girl don't do it and I also saw this other meme just because it's Valentine's Day and we're talking about love and romance and stuff I saw this other meme that was like when you start talking to a boy and you get butterflies in your stomach, that's the common sense leaving your body. <laughs> and I just thought it was so funny. If you're not single, you probably didn't laugh, but if you're single, I'm, I'm betting you just had a good laugh, so you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with lips. Uh, I'm gonna quickly line them with this Huda Beauty lip liner in Spice Girl. And over top of that, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop lipstick in WYD. Ooh, it matches my nails! Ooh, don't you love that? Like, when you're holding something and it matches your nails and you just look at it and you're like, wow, I could be a hand model if I didn't have Shrek's hands. <laughs> and you guys know, none of my looks are finished without a gloss. So I'm going to go in with this ColourPop uh, Brown Sugar Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Dumpling. I love this lip gloss, but I don't like the applicator. It's kind of like a... I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like a brush. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I like the color and I like how it wears. So there's some things you overlook for love, right? No, I'm just kidding. Don't settle. Okay, don't settle for a bad lip gloss and don't settle for a bad man. You're welcome. And yeah, something else that I wanted to mention was that obviously you can see I chose more of a nude kind of lip, but if you wanted to, you could go in with like a bright red for like extra pow pow, you know? Um, you could also go in with like a hot pink to kind of match the crease. But for me, this is my comfort zone and I think because I went really ham on the eyes, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral on the lips. I'm going to add lashes and mascara off camera and then I will be back to show you guys the finished look. <laughs> so I am back and this is the finished look. I kind of love it, okay? Um, just to show you guys what the glitter really looks like, like the duochrome kind of part of it, I'm going to turn on my phone's flash and just show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I don't know if this helps at all, but hopefully you can see like exactly what I'm talking about when I say that the black kind of has like different shades of glitter in it. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think 
it's like too emo for a regular Valentine's Day or do you think that you would wear it like for a date or something? I don't know. So yeah, uh, let me know. What are you guys doing on Valentine's Day? Are you gonna go out for dinner or anything like that? Or are you gonna be like me and because Valentine's Day is on a Thursday, you're just gonna go to school and then come home and do some schoolwork, you know? Uh, let me know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! It's clear to see the time hasn't changed our thing.